Well, good evening, and welcome to Jazz at the Sandbar, right here at the University of New Orleans, brought to you by the UNO Jazz Studies Program. How's everybody doing tonight? Great, great. How did you like, uh, we want to thank you souls that came out last week for the Ed Peterson Big Band. How, how did you like that? That was, that was quite an experience, and we are so proud of our audiences and the supporters of uh, Jazz at the Sandbar that no matter wind, rain, storm, hurricane, y'all come to these gigs and we so much appreciate it. So we're doing a, gonna have another wonderful show tonight. We have uh, the lovely Amina Scott is gonna be coming up and she is terrific bassist. Uh, originally from Oakland, California. She's been here for a few years and, and very much in demand all over. Uh, we just had uh, New Orleans Jazz Orchestra on because she's a member of that institution and so uh, She's got something to bring to us, and we've got a wonderful student combo. But first, I want to bring up the head of the uh, School of the Arts, uh, Dr. Chuck Taylor. Thank you all for being here. I just wanted to take one moment to uh, just tell you a couple of things. One, we're very happy tonight. In addition to the great music that we've got coming up with our student group and with Amina's group, we have a group of UNO alumni here visiting tonight, and we're so glad to have them in the audience. It's so important for us to continue to connect with the people who went before us. And for those of you that were here last week with the Ed Peterson Big Band, I hope you all realize that 10 members of that band were UNO alumni. So, anyway, one last thing, because I should have said this like three weeks ago, but I wasn't here. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I was on the road somewhere in Mississippi. But when you come in the door and you give money at the door, I just want you to all know that every penny of that money goes into a fund for student scholarship awards. So if you ever feel like doing more than what they ask you to do, we will make sure that it goes into the, uh, into the uh, appropriate student scholarship account to help these great students that you hear up on stage. So I just want to mention that to you and thank you all for being here. So Jason, you can take over again. All right, thank you, Dr. Taylor. So we're going to be having Amina's band come on later on, but right now we're going to have a wonderful uh, UNO jazz ensemble under the direction. Now, don't get confused. Rex Gregory is uh, teaching this class, but he's our special star next week. But, you know, since he's been back, UNO gave him uh, a gig, so he's teaching out here, and that's what he's doing. That's the hat he's wearing this week, and next week he's going to be our very special guest. So please welcome the UNO Jazz Ensemble. All right, thank you all. It's so good to be back. Uh, it's so good to see so many people here at University of New Orleans, see everybody in person, see everybody seeing live music again. Uh, personal testament, it was hard going without live music for so long. And so we're gonna have a good time tonight. Uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage, everybody's already on stage, but let's go ahead and give them a round of applause. Anyway, we've got Travis Simmons on the bass. We've got Fumi Nymphs on the alto saxophone. We've got Kirsten Theodore on the alto saxophone as well. We've got Matt Chapin on the guitar. I hope I'm getting everybody's last names right. <laughs> uh, I know everybody's first name, but I've got to check it. Seth Collins on the piano. Uh, coming up to sing later, we're going to have Elisa McDonald on the vocals and the piano. So you will see her soon. Uh, and uh, we've got Jacob Noble on the bass. And last but certainly not least, we have Travis Simmons on the drums. And uh, it's good to be back at my alma mater. I graduated from UNO uh, in 08. I should have graduated in 06, but that's another story. 
Um, and uh, without further ado, please welcome my student combo. It's such a pleasure to teach these guys the two o'clock lab band.
Hello, hello, testing. Can y'all hear me out there? Can y'all hear me? Testing? Well, thank you guys for coming out again. That was Swinging at the Haven by the great, late Ellis Marcellus, all right? <laughs> this next tune we're going to do is called Little Boy Man. It's by James Black. Um, we thank you again for coming out. You guys look beautiful. You know, if I look like this when I wake up at 5 a.m. to go to Starbucks, I might be getting on or something, you know? <laughs> all right, this tune is called Little Boy Man.
Did y'all like that? Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Feel free to move, snap, dance, whatever you want to do, man. If you got a little something in there, you know, move along with us, all right? The next tune will be, again, after the late, great Ellis Marcellus. It is called After. It is featuring our vocalist who's on the keys. Thank you. 
Give it up for Alyssa on the piano and Jacob on the bass, all right? And I'll let our vocalist introduce this next selection. All right, well, this song is called Corcovado, all right? Antonio Carlos Jobim. Chords from my guitar floating on the silence that surrounds us. Quiet thoughts and quiet dreams, quiet walls by quiet streams, and the winds of that and the cocovado. Oh, how lovely! This is where I want to be. Here with you, so close to me, till the final flicker of life's ember. I was lost and lonely, belief in life was only a bit of tragic joke I found with you. The meaning of existence, oh my love.
the vocals, all right? <laughs> this next tune is actually an original, right? Well, there's a switcheroo, all right? The next tune will be What a Little Moonlight Can Do. This will be a trio, and it will not a trio, but it'll be with me, the bass, the vocalist, and the piano, all right? Y'all have fun on this one, all right?
All right. How about that, all right? What a moonlight can do, all right? That was the bill. All right, and this next one is an original by a guitarist here. It is called Ballad for Bill.
He sounds so good, don't you agree? Yeah, I'm so proud of these young students that have been uh, really coming a long way this semester. It's just so good to see UNO putting out new talent. It's just the way that we do things, you know. There's a lot of great musicians came out of the school. Um, we're going to bring up a special guest artist. She's Wolfpack, but we're going to go ahead and forgive her for that. She's a, a you know, very special uh, musician that has appeared on the scene, a uh, great artist, and you will hear more of her music. But for now, we're going to welcome Amina Scott to the stage. And just as a side note, uh, we've been playing um, a lot of music from the Silver Book, and particularly a lot of music from the uh, Ellis Marcellus songbook. Uh, we like to pay tribute to him. Uh, of course, he passed at the very beginning of this pandemic of COVID, and uh, it was a huge loss, and it kind of set the tone for that whole year and a half that followed. And so we, this is our little way of paying tribute to him. We play about four of his songs. Um, and uh, we'll keep playing his music, and that's the only way we can keep it alive. And so, uh, you know, we really appreciate uh, everybody coming and listening um, this week and every week. And uh, we wouldn't be here without Ellis Marcellus. He started this, helped start this program. Uh, he's the reason why I came to New Orleans, because he was, uh, uh, you know, uh, it spearheaded this program. I knew it was a good program, and that's, that's what, why I ended up here and not a place like New York. And so, you know, I can't thank him enough. And um, that's right. And uh, so we're going to play another one of his compositions. This is called Homecoming.
And this will be our last tune before Amina's group comes up. Um, but we're going to swing it out for you. This is called Twelves It by the great Ellis Marcellus, all right?
All right, let's hear it. Kirsten, Lisa, Travis, Amina, Jacob, wherever he is. We got Seth. We got Fumi. We got Matt. And uh, we got the music of Ellis Marcellus, music of James Black. Uh, stay tuned. You're going to hear some great music from Amina Scott coming up shortly. And I can't thank you enough. We will see you uh, later. See you next week.
nothing like New Orleans Yet will remind you of old-fashioned place A glass of wine will greet your smiling face And if you ever see a brown-skinned man like mine Well, oh, then you are right in, right in New Orleans
skies are always blue Though we made mistakes, that's true Let's forget the past and start life anew Though we wander by rivers of tears Where sunshine won't come through And then you do, and then you say you will, and then you won't. You're all decided now, so what are you gonna do? Now you wanna play, and then it's no. When you say you'll stay, that's when you go. You're all decided now, so what are you gonna do? I've been sitting on a fence, and it doesn't make much sense. Cause you keep me in suspense, and you know it. Then you promise to return. When you don't, I really burn. Well, I guess I'll never learn, and I show it. If you got a heart, and if you're kind, don't keep us apart, make up your mind. You're undecided now, so what are you gonna do? have done better for picking up her band because there are two graduates from where? The UNO Jazz Studies program. That's right. Give it up for Peter Varnado. Give it up for Oscar Rossignoli. And our star of the hour, Amina Scott.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here. This is such an honor. <laughs> I like to play that one first because it usually gets people's attention because it's loud. Um, <laughs> um, thank you all so much. Um, thanks to UNO for having me. Um, yeah, shout out to UNO. Um, I've gone to a couple of these when I was a student at a, another New Orleans institution um, that I will not mention here. <laughs> um, so it's really an honor to be able to play like some original music for an audience here, especially after the year that we all just had. So um, it's truly a blessing. So that was an original tune entitled Persistence, um, which will be on an album coming to y'all hopefully in the next couple of years or so. Got some stuff to figure out, but we're gonna try and make that happen. <laughs> um, so that was Persistence. Thank you. And this next song that we're going to play for you guys is another original of mine. Um, a little bit about it. Um, I used to play at a church on the West Bank and there was one Sunday in, in particular where the music was just really moving everybody that was in the church. And, you know, after going through some ups and downs myself, I was feeling very grateful about the fact that I could do something like this, you know? Um, and I was really grateful for the fact that the music that we were playing was touching so many people at the time, you know? Um, so over the while, or over the course of a couple of weeks or so, I developed this tune, and it is entitled Praise, and I hope you all enjoy it.
So earlier it was, um, also thank you. Um, earlier it was mentioned that it was alumni night at UNO. Um, woo, shout out to all the alumni, woo! Go privateers, woo! <laughs> um, and Oscar and Peter are both alumni. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I also, it's kind of funny because I did not kind of, I didn't plan for this. This is just very coincidental that two of some of the best musicians in town happen to come from UNO. <laughs> or maybe it's not a coincidence, I don't know, y'all tell me. <laughs> um, but speaking of Oscar, I'm just going to kind of plug his, himself real quick. I will plug your stuff real quick. Um, Oscar just came out with an amazing solo album called Inertia. Um, yeah, um, and it's, when I say, when I tell y'all it's amazing, like, it is one of the best records that I heard when it came out. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because he's in the band, I'm like being really honest, you know, um, and I'm going to encourage you all to go buy it. You can stream it which will also be helpful, but also go buy it on Bandcamp. And sometimes he has physical copies, but there's, they're probably in stores or something, right? Yes. yes, they are in stores. So if you go to like a record store down here, you might find it. Um, but I'm saying all of that, but the tune that we're gonna play next is an Oscar Rossignoli original, and it's actually, I don't think it's on the album. So you can't get this song on the album, but you should still go buy it. But it will be on an album maybe soon. Maybe soon. Um, and this song is entitled Canvas by Oscar Rosignoli. <laughs>
Um, and also, once again, you're listening to Peter Varnado on the drums. So um, I think keeping up with the theme of this month, year, and hopefully forever, um, we're going to pay tribute to the great Ellis Marcellus, who we lost last year in April. Um, I try and play at least one of his tunes every time I play a gig anywhere. Um, and so just because not only did he inspire me when I moved here, or actually before I moved here, um, one of the first tunes that I learned that to me was pretty New Orleans was Swinging at the Haven uh, when I was in high school. So, um, yeah, I've known that tune for a while. No one knows that. <laughs> but it's true. Um, and I listened to his albums repeatedly until I got here, and then I learned how much harder all the tunes actually are to some extent. They're very hard. Um, Speaking of which, we're about to play one for y'all right now. This is entitled Tell Me by Ellis Marcellus.
position of love, you can just start it. You know what to do. Thanks again to UNO, Jazz at the Sandbar, Jason Patterson for having us. Um, and thank you to David Torkanowski and Co. for running the sound and the live stream. Thank you all so much. And thank you all for being here and for sticking around and hanging with us. We got one more tune for you guys. Um, that last song was a song that I would say has become a standard, especially in Cuba. Um, I went there in the last like three years, I think in 2017, and it was a very inspiring trip. And so if you could go, I would encourage you all to go and experience Cuba and all of its beauty. Um, that song was entitled Como Fue, and it's a beautiful love song, and it was written by Ernesto Durante Brito, and it was made famous by a vocalist from Cuba named Benny Moray. Um, this next tune, this last tune that we have for you guys is sort of my overall tribute to women in this music. We have a couple of great ones sitting over there. What's up, y'all? And over there. <laughs> and probably some more, and I don't see y'all, but y'all too. <laughs> um, and this is a tune that was written by another late pianist who we lost a few years ago by the name of Jerry Allen. And this is a tune of hers entitled Unconditional Love. And we're gonna send y'all off with this. Once again, thank you guys so much. Oh, one last thing. Let me reintroduce the band on piano. We have Oscar Rossignoli. The crowd loves him. Over here on the drums, we got Peter Varnado. And my name is Amina Michelle Scott, and I play the bass. Thank y'all again. Once again, this is Unconditional Love, Jerry Allen.
Oscar Rossignoli, Peter Barnado.